Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to move a character in 8 directions in Android Top Down game, how to switch between different animations depending on move directions of the character and how to fire bullets in those directions. Scripts and art will be available by the link in the description. Let's start from the scratch. First of all, we need to import cross-platform input package. Go to Assets menu section, Import package and choose cross-platform input item. I have this package already imported. Next let's create our character. Here I have a sprite sheet of Ogre that we need to edit a bit to be able to create animated character. Change sprite mode to multiple and set filter mode to point no filter so our pictures will not be blurred and hit apply. After that we can edit our sprite sheet. Here in sprite editor we need to slice our sprite sheet to separate sprites. Hit slice button and let's slice it with grid by cell count option. Here we have to set number of columns and rows which is 8 by 8 and hit slice. Now you can see that our sprite sheet is sliced to 64 separate images. Hit apply to save these changes. Ok. Now if we expand our sprite sheet here, then we can see all of these images. Let's take one and put it into our scene. It will be default image of our character. Rename it as a character. Now let's create all of the walking animations for our character. Make sure that character game object is selected, go to animation window and click create new animation. I create new folder for our animations. Go to this new folder and create first animation that will be walk up animation. Here it is. Now we need to drag and drop some sprites that we want to use as walk up sequence into timeline. In our case these sprites are from 16 to 19. Select them and drag and drop here. Reduce number of samples per frame to slow down this animation and don't forget to hit enter to save this change. And here our first animation is ready. Let's create another one. Create new clip. It will be walk down animation. Select walk down sprite sequence. In our case it is from 48 to 51 and drag and drop this group of sprites into timeline. Modify samples number to slow animation down. Here we go. Do the same for the rest 6 animations. Walk left, walk right, walk left up, walk right up, walk right down and walk left down. And one more animation for idle with just one frame. That's it. Animations are done. Now let's set up transitions between them. Make sure a character is selected and go to animator window. Here are all of our animations. Also here is one very useful state which is called any state. Let's rearrange animations a bit so they are positioned a bit more logically. Like that. Right click on idle state and set it as a default state. Now right click on any state and make a transition to walk up state. Right click again and make a transition to walk right up state. And create transitions from any state one to each of our animations. Ok. Go to parameter section and create new int parameter. Name it as direction. It will be used in script to switch between our animations. Now let's tune our transitions a bit. Select walk up transition and go to its settings. Set transition duration to zero so transition occurs without any delay. Also we need to uncheck can transition to self option. Otherwise animation will freeze at first frame. And let's add one condition so transition occurs when direction parameter equals to 1. Select idle transition. Set transition duration to 0. Uncheck can transition to self. Set condition when direction parameter equals to 0. Same for walk up right transition. And here condition is when direction equals to 2. And so on for each transition with the differences in conditions. Walk right when direction equals to 3, right down when direction equals to 4, walk down when 5, left down when 6, left when 7 and left up when 8. Ok. Our transitions are set up. Let's go back to our scene. If we want our player to be able to fire, 
Then let's create the empty game object as a child for him and name it as a gun. Here it is. It's important to note that gun's green axis pointed upwards at the beginning. So bullets will be fired in that direction and also this gun will be rotated by the script towards direction our player goes. Now let's create a bullet prefab. Here is bullet sprite. Scale it a bit. This bullet will have a component which is rigid body 2D with gravity scale set to zero. That's it for now. Drag and drop bullet game object into project window to create a prefab of it. Bullet can be deleted from the hierarchy. Now let's create a UI joystick to control character's movements. Expand standard assets folder, cross platform input folder, prefabs folder and drag and drop mobile single stick control prefab into hierarchy. Here we go. Expand it and delete jump button game object. We don't need it in this case. Ok. Select mobile single stick control game object and add a component to it which is canvas scaler. In this component set UI scale mode to scale with screen size. So our UI elements retain their proportions regardless of screen size. Here is our joystick. I reduce its movement range, so it will not move far away from its initial position when we drag it. Let it be 50. Now let's create fire button. Create new UI button. Rename it as fire button. Anchor it at right bottom holding Alt plus Shift keys. Set its size to be more comfortable and give it some offset from screen edges. Change its text to fire and edit font settings a bit. To make this button work, we need to add a script to it. Expand cross platform input scripts folder and drag and drop button handler script to our fire button. Here we need to type in fire1 into name field of this script. Also we need to add a component which is event trigger. Here we go. Now click add new event type and select pointer down option. Add new function here. Drag and drop our fire button into object slot. And select set down state method from its button handler script. Add another one event type. Fire button is already added here. But this time select set up state method from its button handler script. OK. Fire button is done. Now our character also needs some script to control its behavior. It's a character script in our case. Let's take a look at it. Script uses cross platform input library. Here we have direction x and direction y variables to move a character and rotate angle variable to rotate a gun. Move speed variable for character and bullet speed variable for bullet, which I will set to 200 later. Animator variable to control animation transitions, gun transform to rotate a gun and bullet rigid body 2D to instantiate and send bullets prefabs. In start method we set angle to 0 initially, get animator component and set animation speed to 1 in case if it stays equals to 0 for some reason. In update method we invoke move, fire and rotate methods. So in move method we get input from our joystick calling gut axis method and assign those data to direction x and direction y variables. Get axis method returns value from 0 to 1 according to joystick's distance from its initial position to its extreme position. But we need this value to be 0 or 1 strictly. That's why we use mathf round to int function here. After that we just set new character's position according to direction values multiplied by move speed and time delta time. Fire method. If fire button is pressed, then we instantiate the bullet at gun position and with gun rotation. After that, we send this bullet in gun up direction along its green axis, adding a force to its rigid body multiplied by bullet speed. Animation control and gun rotation happens in rotate method. So if direction x equals to 0 and direction y equals to 1, which means that character goes up, then rotate angle is set to 0, animation speed is set to 1 and direction parameter of animator is set to 1, so walk up animation starts running. Then. If direction x equals to 1 and direction y equals to 1, which means that character goes upright, then gun is rotated by negative 45 degrees, animation speed set to 1 as well, and direction parameter is set to 2, so walk upright animation starts running. And so on for each direction. And if character stops, then animation speed is set to 0 and animation stops running too. Last line of code rotates gun game object by the angle that is set according to character's move direction. That's it. Drag and drop this script onto character game object. 
Select character. Here are slots for gun and bullet. Drag and drop gun game object into gun slot and bullet prefab into bullet slot. Set bullet speed to 200, otherwise it will go very very slowly. Well, everything is done, let's hit play and see how it works. Our character can go in 8 directions, switching its animation states and sending bullets in those directions. Hope you like this tutorial, thank you for watching, see you next time.